Okay, let's talk about how this system works. Now, to start with, um, I'm, I'm using my base mount, but let's not get tied into the fact that this is all mounted on my patented rail system, but you do not have to have this rail system to have, have my strong arm system. Okay, this strong arm system, um, this bolt pattern fits, uh, is the same bolt pattern that most of the rod holder manufacturers use. It uh, fits in the place of a Fishon, Fulby, or Scotty rod holder. Just remove that product and put this one right in the same bolt holes. So the way this works is I have, I have a bolt hole circle here with 12 uh, positions to it. And the way that I get a 10 degree, because that, that, only, that only equals uh, 30, uh, 30 degrees. So how I get the 10 degrees is by taking this mating position and taking these other two pin positions and shifting them 10 degrees in each direction. That's gives you your, that gives you 10 degrees. So now I've got 36 divisions in that circle. Okay, so this part, um, I, the, my right angle part, for example, would just fit right on there. Um, the base mount comes with a hand knob because you're always going to want to take this out at the end of the day. And so that would just cinch down like that. Now, in the position I'm standing in, I would be overboard. Your view of this would be from inside the boat. So here, here is this position. I mean, it can be changed um, all the way around. And then if we wanted to get those half hole positions, we just change the pins to one of those other positions. The, the two pins always have to be across from each other. So you just pick up one of those other pin positions. So let's go ahead and build something with this real quick. So this is my right angle mount that we talked about earlier. So we'll cinch that down. And uh, um, that's another thing that we should talk about is there's, there's different ways to make these connections. So um, this, is, this would be a fully adjustable connection. So I've got two hand knobs that would come in from one side and, and made up with that bolt hole circle so that you wouldn't need any tools whatsoever and you could take these out and skip pin positions. Now that's one way to do it and, and you, wouldn't need any, um, you wouldn't need any tools to do that. This, would be, this is the other way which I would call a semi-adjustable. You wouldn't need an Allen wrench in the boat if you wanted to shift it those 10 degrees in either direction, but um, you could use it like this and, uh, and it's still adjustable that way. Whoops. But you, you're going to need a tool if you want to slip those pin positions, those other 10 degree spots. Okay. Uh, I'm thinking that a lot of guys, um, once they get these adjusted, aren't going to need all these hand knobs. So it's going to be sold standard like this. So you just bolt it together. There's no reason to have all these hand knobs. But if you're one of those guys that wants to tweak it, and you, you know, you got different uses for it, then by all means you could go with the hand knobs. So this would be the fully adjustable hand knob here. So when you, when you add something to this, you can just slip those, take this out, put it over to the next position without using any tools. But if you don't mind using tools and you want to have a couple Allen wrenches in the boat, by all means it will be sold this way. Um, the other knobs will be an upgrade other than it will come like this for the base mounts because you're always going to want to be able to remove those. So that being said, um, let's put something together here and see what we can make. So here's a, here's a part. Let's put that on there. We'll use a hand knob to make it quick. It could be bolted through from this other side um, and not use hand knob here if you didn't want to or didn't have that available. So, so there it is. Um, and let's make a rod extension out of it. Here's a, uh, let's see, where's my Fulby at? Right here. Here's the Fulby one because that's what I have a rod holder handy here for. So let's go ahead and put this on. And, and, and remember, this, same thing. We can slip that by 10 degrees and we can put it in all kinds of different positions. Let's put it there for now. Let's see, I got a washer right here. I like to use the washers. You don't have to, but um, you know it helps keep the the anodize from getting rubbed off right there where the washer where these tighten up. So there's that part. Now let's throw a let's throw a rod holder on it. Which way we want it? Eh, let's tip it back just a little bit like that. Okay. So there. 
So there we go. So now we got a rod holder. Let okay. I decide I want to. I want to swing it a little bit. Let's swing it over here. Tighten it back down. I've seen those plastic rod holders guys use the plastic extensions and man I think I, I hope you don't really care too much about that rod because that that looks uh, it looks like something that's maybe not going to hold up but uh, anyway I built this system to be super strong here you go there's one configuration for this okay we got a rod holder mount but that's not the only thing this was built for this was built um, one of the things that I've always had an issue with is I, I build these uh, fillet rigging tables that a lot of you uh, own and and you know about them and I get a customer every so often that says hey Mike I don't have a I don't have a right angle to mount you know a fishing rod holder mount because this is this is the type of this is the type of mount that we have been using and they plug into fishing rod holder mounts this one's for a Scotty you know and they're okay uh, one of the things I don't like about them is the manufacturers that make the plastic parts they're not really a precision part so it's hard to make a precision part fit that part um, without having a little bit of play in it so everywhere you have play with this system there's no play in any of it because it's all bolted tight so you know anything that slips together has got to have enough play for it to slip together so I've done away with that so now if I wanted to put a, a mount a table on this system or a barbecue or a GoPro camera or whatever there we are now um, now I have a surface right here to mount to this bolt pattern actually you could mount a rod holder that way I don't know why you would use that part but you could um, so that's one function of it now let's say you wanted to um, mount one of my tables and you don't have the rail and you don't want to put you don't need that right angle mount for all this stuff what you can do is you can take and mount this solid down to the boat and it doesn't matter if it's at an angle or you know which way it's pitched because we're going to be able to get that back and so we can put this on like here so let's say you had this tipped off the back of your transom like that now we come up here and we got this mount here of course and so there we are you know we're picking it us up back here and uh, now we got a table mounted and you know more than likely if you were mounting a table you probably wouldn't want this adjustable because once you get it set the way you want it it's just going to be that way you know and with my tables with the two wing nuts you just pop them off um, or take it apart here um, any way that makes it easiest for you so uh, that's uh, in a nutshell that's kind of the way this system's all designed to work you know it's got a lot of different functionality um, there's no reason why you can't use if you wanted a top mount rod holder you could still throw one of the 90s on here like so and then uh, you know and it could operate that way you know if you had to you could throw two 90s on there and get back to the other plane um, I don't know why you would do that but you could um, you could come straight up uh, off of one like this had it mounted that way and you could then you could hit your 90 up here uh, that would be another way to do that and then you know then this next part could go either way um, so there's just a really a lot of flexibility to this system to the strong arm system um, I'm really proud of this system it's been a lot of work there was probably five or six prototypes that failed before I got to this point so I got a lot of money tied up in it we are pursuing a US patent on this so uh, here it is. If you got any questions, shoot me an email, mike at millermarineproducts.com. Um, this stuff will all be available soon on my website at uh, millermarineproducts.com. So for now, that's all.